Kevin, thanks for joining us. Just looking ahead to this weekend's game against Cambridge United. Uh, it's obviously been a week or so since you've been in charge. Now, how have you settled into the club, first of all? Yeah, I've, I've well, firstly, I've really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm every, day, every morning I wake up, I can't wait to come in, so it's really good. Um, I feel like I've settled in right. We had a, a decent performance against Portsmouth um, on Saturday. I was just disappointed, really, that, that we couldn't hang on. Um, it's fantastic. It's not taken away from the strike on their goal. So, um, but it was that was a good performance. So hopefully we can improve again on that. What have you learned in this kind of week about the club and the players and what have you, what have you kind of picked up in the time? Um, it's similar to kind of what I knew anyway. Um, there's a young, and I've said this already. There's a really young, there's an enthusiastic, hungry bunch here, um, which is great. I, I love that. Um, I'm looking to give them a little bit of a structure so that when we go out week in, week out, there's a, there's a consistency to how we're going to play. But that's without putting any reins on them so they can go and express themselves and show go and show some flair as well. And, and do you know what? Go and we've got 14 games left. Just go and enjoy it. Let's, let's, you know, let's go and try and get, um, get the crowd excited about turning up on a, on a Saturday. Is that the kind of message you're giving to the players that this is a great position to be in now. Let's let's have a real good go at it. Yeah, everything's really positive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just go. You know what I mean? Don't worry about making. If you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Just go out there and express yourself. But it's still going to be uh, with, within a structure. And and obviously, always the main one. The main thing. The main thing I've said to him is, I want this to be a really hard working team. Did you know much about the club, about any of the players before you came in, or have you kind of come into it and picking things up still? No, it's a few. I knew, I knew most of the players. Um, I've been in League One and League Two for, for years now, so my knowledge of the leagues is, I, I consider it should be quite good. I know about the club, um, sort of North London born anyway. Uh, I know how it works. I didn't realise the actual structure of it and the training facilities, although I've been over here, I didn't realise it was quite as good as what it is. Um, and, and the staff I've been working with as well, I've been learning about staff and, and you know, be, everything, everything's been, uh, everyone's been very helpful. You us. mentioned staff obviously slotting into an existing structure, how have you found working with the guys that are here and, and Rossi in particular I imagine must have been quite a big help. Yeah, all, yeah they are, all of them have been really good um, and I'm really looking forward to and enjoying uh, working with Rossi already. You know, it doesn't, it's not like we're in a nice little position in the league at the moment, obviously we want to improve that, there's, there's no taking away from that. What I don't want to do is come in and I've seen managers and I've worked with people in the past and they've come in and they've changed this and they've changed that and I'm thinking, you know what, there's no need to change that. So I'm certainly not coming in and, and ripping this place apart. What I want to do is try and in, in tinker with it a little bit and try and get a little bit of improvement. You watched the Morecambe game and obviously took the Portsmouth game. What have you learned from those two and how important is it to have a kind of springboard to go off with a couple of Yeah, times? well, it would be two, two good performances. Um, so again, if we, if we can just improve on stuff with that, if we, but it's going to be a consistent improvement. So it's we're going to be working on the training ground, getting sort of making sure players know where I want them to be in certain situations, and the decision making is hopefully we can improve sometimes on that. What I've learned from it is again, it, it's a, it's a it's a group that are really want to do well. They're really they're enthusiastic. They're hungry, they're young, they're fit lads, and you know, you know, I say there's, there's four win games left. Let's, let's go, let's go for it, let's go and enjoy it. And finally, looking ahead to Cambridge this weekend, what do you expect from them? I expect a very tough game. Uh, anyone in, and again, I do know the leagues, and anyone in this league particularly can turn up on a day and beat anyone. There's no doubt about that. There's minimal points difference between us. Um, they're a big, strong side. They're organised. They've got some good players. Got good wide players in Dunk and uh, Mingoa. So they're a threat without a doubt. They had a fantastic comeback and win against Newport on Saturday. Um, and I know, just, I know it's going to be a tough game. We're going to have to be on absolutely top of our game. Which, which with Barnet, all the players have to be on top of their game. If we want to win games, we need to be on the top of our performances all the time. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.